another action figure review today we're going to be looking at the dc collectibles justice league batman figure this action figure is from the justice league cartoon which is a spin-off of batman the animated series part of the timverse this particular figure you had to be a member of the dc streaming service to be able to order these figures i don't believe that was their initial plan when producing these but somehow that became their current plan so i decided to get two of these guys one to keep open one to keep unopened so, let's check him out out of the package. Here is the unopened figure as he claims his place on my shelf. Next to some of the recent unopened acquisitions, animated and so forth. Well now we've got the figure out of the packaging. Here is how he looks. I think he looks pretty good. Here is accessories down below. That was kind of a joke because he comes with zero accessories which is crazy annoying. I personally usually get my figures from DCBService.com, DiscountComicBookService.com, and I get them for about $20 and some change. They give you 33% off the retail price if you pre-order them ahead of time. The retail price for these guys being $28, getting absolutely nothing besides this small figure for $20 is absolutely insane since I had to buy it from the DC streaming website. I pretty much had to pay full price. He didn't even come with an action figure stand like all the figures from this line from the Timverse have come with before. So if you're displaying your figures out with the action figure stands uniformly, you might be a little bit disappointed. But he is pretty nice for what you get. Definitely the Justice League style, the logo, which is sculpted on, not just painted. The ears, the buck itself definitely looks like the new Batman Adventures. We'll check that out in a little bit. I mean, he's nice for what he is, but he's definitely overpriced, and the fact that he came with no accessories, definitely a little bit frustrating and annoying. Well, next, let's check out the size of this figure, the height. These DC collectibles, Timverse, Batman the Animated Series, and so on and so forth figures are traditionally a little bit on the smaller scale. DC Direct and DC Collectibles usual figures are about 7 inches tall, the 7 inch scale. These guys here are about six and a half maybe a little bit shorter inches tall so here we are looks like from the top of his head we're probably at about 6.4 inches and from the top of his ears about 6.9 inches next let's check out this figure's articulation so his head goes around no problem goes down about that far and then up about that far. His shoulders go out eh, really not much at all. They're kind of hindered by this. Honestly, I'm not sure how far they'd go without that though. Up, down, they have some kind of a ball in there, but there we go. Let's check it out. There, it can lock out and go about that far. Single jointed elbow can be extended this far, can go just a hair below 90 degrees can also swivel. Then he's got his wrists, can move around, can also go up and down that far. Now I did notice his hands come out very easily. All the figures typically come with interchangeable hands. It feels like maybe this guy was intended to and they cheaped out and decided not to include them. Who knows, this could be the same sculpt as the new Batman Adventures. We'll check that out in a little bit. Waist swivel. Splits really can't go any farther. I don't want to stress it not quite 90 degrees on either one Can go forward about that far once again not 90 degrees can go back pretty much not at all single joint knee That far then his feet boy. It's kind of hard to get that stand small feet. They don't seem like they're very level it can go up that far go down quite a bit and they can Sort of tilt it seems like a little bit. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. Can go around that way. Just so scared about breaking these. The peg it seems very small that holds them. Alright, I have to give him to stand. Like I said before, his hands are very easily removable. 
I would not consider his hands accessories since he does not have multiples, but it makes you think that perhaps he was intended to come with some swappable hands. I decided to take some previous Batman releases and see if they could swap with him. I took the new Batman Adventures Batman, the very first release they made, removed his hand, and unfortunately did not fit. The peg was a little bit too large to really push it in there. So I decided to take a Batman, the animated series Batman, took his hand out, and it had a much smaller peg, and it fit in with the Justice League Batman just fine. So I was able to give him an open right hand in case your heart desires. I have bought the Expressions Pack Batman and a couple other releases, so I do have plenty of extra hands in case I am not happy with the closed fist on the Justice League Batman. Just a little FY to enhance your figures. So while we're on the subject of articulation, raises a question, can he sit down in a chair? This is a chair from the Batcave that actually came with this action figure line. Can he sit in it? Legs up, bend the knees a little bit. And you know what? He sure can. This chair is actually intended for figures just like this. He can sit there doing stuff at the Batcave computer. Do enjoy that. Now let's see if we can tell how much reuse was from previous Batman Timverse figures. The feet seem a little bit different, they're not the same as either one of these guys. Then the legs seem like they're completely different as well. Notice how much taller they go than the other figures. His belt starts so much higher than the other guys. And at first glance, I assumed his torso would be the same as the new Batman Adventures Batman, but it sure is not. It's a unique sculpt. The head, of course, is a unique sculpt as well. I'd say the arms are definitely straight reuse from the new Batman Adventures Batman, but beyond that, it is a new sculpt, as far as I can tell. Here he is compared to the initial release. This was from Series 1 of the Batman the Animated Series line. This was a new Adventures of Batman, Batman from Season 4 of the Animated Series. Notice the Just League figure is considerably taller than him, mostly in the legs. Here he is next to a Batman the Animated Series Batman. He is quite a bit taller than him, but not nearly as big a difference as with the New Adventures of Batman Batman. I didn't really realize how much taller the Batman the Animated Series version was compared to the first release. Here he is compared to all the different Batman figures that are in this style and scale. First on the far left, we've got a non-Timbers Batman. They attempted to make one other film in this scale and style and I don't believe that they're gonna make any more like that. New Batman Adventures Batman, a Ice Suit Batman, Justice League Batman, Batman the Animated Series Batman, and Batman Beyond Batman. Here is the Justice League Batman compared to all the different Batman the Animated Series Batmans that I have. You may wonder why I have five of them. One would be from the single release, another one from the Batman and Mask of Phantasm 2 pack, Another one from the Expressions Pack release. Another one from the Bat Signal release that came with Batman and Robin as well. And then one with the Batmobile and Bat Signal release that came with Batman and Robin as well. Here he is with his Bat family as they would appear in this era during Justice League. Here he is compared to Alfred and an older version of himself, old Bruce Wayne from Batman Beyond. Here he is on the rooftop of Gotham, answering Gordon's call. Here is an unmasked version that I created using a head swap with the DC Expressions pack, Batman the Animated Series, Bruce Wayne head. I do realize this is a Batman the Animated Series Bruce Wayne head, and he should be wearing a new Batman Adventures Bruce Wayne head during the time period of Justice League, but this is the only Bruce Wayne head they've given us so far. Still thought it was pretty cool. Even though his hands do come out easily, his head does not come out easily. I had to use hot water, heat up his head, pull it out. And it surprised me, I actually had to use hot water to put the Bruce Wayne head on as well. Here he is in the Batcave under the Wayne Manor with Alfred working in his laboratory, taking care of some business, some trophies. Here he is compared to with his 5 inch counterpart, Justice League figure. The next question is, will he fit in the Batman the Animated Series DC Collectibles Batmobile? 
I do realize that that is not the same Batmobile he was using in the Justice League era, but it's all we've got so far. And it became immediately apparent to me that I'm going to have to take his cape off for this to happen, so let's heat him up again and take that cape off. So I went ahead and heated him up, took his head off, took his cape off, put his head back on, and I'm now allowing Alfred to take his cape and hang it up neatly in the closet. So he fits in the Batmobile with complete ease. I even put a Robin in there next to him, no problem. This Batmobile is spacious enough, I bet I could even fit him in there with his soft goods cape. The next question is, can he fit in the DC Collectibles Batman the Animated Series Batwing? Here he is in the cockpit of the Batwing with Robin. He fits absolutely fantastic. It's almost like he was made for this vehicle. Slides with complete clearance, no problem. Here is the Justice League Batman deciding which one of his vehicles he's going to take out crime fighting tonight. We've got the regular Batmobile, we've got the special edition or whatnot, chrome plated Batmobile, and then we've got the Batwing in the middle. Looking forward to the upcoming Bat Cycle. Alright, all in all, this is, I mean, it's a solid figure for what it is. I'm a little bit biased in the fact that I'm not super fond of this style and scale of figures. And the fact that he's overpriced, comes with absolutely no accessories. I'm going to end up giving this figure a 6 out of 10. If you're a completist, kind of like myself, and you have Batman the Abed series and the new Batman Adventures and Batman Beyond, you definitely want to get this guy to fill in that missing Justice League version. But he is frankly kind of a ripoff. Alright, this is D Hunter. If you like this video, press like below. If you want to see additional videos from me, press subscribe. If you have any comments about the video, whether you liked or disliked something about it, please put them below. If you have any action figure review requests, post them below. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon.